Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and today I'm going to quickly show how you can re-download the Mac OS X, sorry, OS 10, that's the proper way to say it, Lion, which just came out a few days ago. So a lot of people may have already downloaded and installed Lion, but this is actually a guide to help you not only re-download it, but also to create a backup DVD or even a USB drive that you can use to install Lion on on other machines that you own. So first of all, the, the first step is for how to re-download uh, Lion. And so I've already installed Lion on my device. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm launching the App Store. And you can see it's going to come up here. And as soon as it does, the, the um, important thing to note is that most people, when they go into the purchases section, they'll see it's already installed. So what you want to do is go back to the home screen um, of the App Store and press and hold the Option key and then click on Purchases. And when you do that, you can see that now there is a uh, new state for the um, OS X Lion. And you can just simply click Install here, and it'll start downloading OS X Lion. And so what you need to do, though, is log into your account when you do that, and it'll start running right after that. So you can see now that Lion is downloading. Luckily, I have a very fast connection, so it's not going to take that long. But the important thing to remember that once it is done downloading, what you want to do is not start the install process. So I'll go into that in a second. Okay, so Lion has now downloaded and has automatically launched. So what you want to make sure that you do before you proceed on to the next steps is to quit the install. So just make sure that you have the install Mac OS X window open and simply quit it. Now in the Applications folder, you should see the actual installer file. So the next step here is to drag it out of that particular file so I'm just putting it onto my desktop so I'm actually holding down the option key to make a copy of it to uh, move it out of the application folder so once it copies over we can proceed okay now it's fully copied over I'm actually going to uh, delete this installer from the application folder and you do have to authenticate to do that. So now we have it over here on the desktop. And what you want to do is right click on that and you select Show Package Contents. And then once you do that, you'll have uh, a new folder open up and you want to drill down into the contents here. So I'm opening up the contents. And then you want to go down to the Shared Support folder, open that up, and then you're looking for this file right here called installesd.dmg. So when you find that, just take that and you can drag that out onto your desktop as well. And from there, you can proceed. So the next step is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is launch Disk Utility and then have a DVD ready to uh, burn your bootable Lion DVD. So just click on Burn, and then it'll open up um, the Select Image to Burn. Simply choose the Install ESD.DMG file, click that, select that, and click Burn. And after that, you just simply insert your DVD and burn it away. So I've actually done this, and I successfully installed Lion on another machine of mine. Do remember that you probably need to have that, ma <clears throat> that machine tied to the same Apple ID because there is supposedly a receipt tied to the installer file, but this is not confirmed. 
You can also create a bootable Lion installer for a uh, USB thumb drive, but what you need to do is make sure that you have a large enough thumb drive. The one that I currently have here won't work, but the process should be fine. So even though this is a, a four gigabyte flash drive, thumb drive, um, it doesn't actually have enough space for the entire image. So anyways, use something probably larger, like a six gigabyte flash drive, and then you can do this. So what I first did is um, I erased the thumb drive completely. I set it to Mac OS extended journaled and so it'll set it up and it'll set up a partition and then once that do is done it'll mount uh, again and then you can proceed with uh, setting up the flash drive for Lion. So to do that just simply select the partition, click on restore click image, choose the install esd.dmg, open that, and then for your destination, you would simply go to your desktop and drag the destination where you want it to go, and then you click restore. So I'm going to do this, it's going to fail because there's not enough space, but basically the, the process should work just fine. So it's going to start going and like I said, it doesn't have enough space. But if you do have a larger thumb drive, this should work just fine. So anyway, that's how you do it. Setting up an installer DVD or a thumb drive on uh, for the Lion installer as well as how to re-download Lion from the Apple App Store. If you want to read more about this, you can take a look at my blog. And that's at www.hitechdad.com. You can also reach me on Twitter, and I'm at HighTechDad.